Hey everybody, what is going on? It's Herbal with another exciting episode of Dwarf Fortress. Uh, we've got a new project underway. I've always got a new project underway, even though I haven't finished my old projects. I just like operating in a bit of chaos, I suppose. Um, let me see if I can find it. There we go. So, we're digging the entrance right now to our gladiatorial stage. I'm going to make a, a gladiator arena um, dump any kind of goblins or anything that we capture in here and then we can have dwarves fight them or animals that we catch anything that we just you know don't really want um, and we can set up traps around the base catch you know intruders and have maybe some of the newer dwarves possibly fight them get some experience and entertain ourselves just a little bit so I'm gonna dig this out smooth it out try to make it look all nice and we're gonna make it into a like into a whole thing into an event and uh so that's something that we're working on right now. Um, other than that, we've just got the same old things going on. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up and let you see what we're really working on here. And uh, I'll be back once it's a little bit more filled out and looks a little bit cooler. All right, so here we are at the scene of our new gladiatorial arena. Well, our under construction gladiatorial arena. So you can see our uh, little hallway here, our throne room, etc. And then just off to the, uh, the one side up here when you're going off towards the Great Hall, uh, there's going to be three doors. The doors aren't quite plussed yet, but we have three iron doors coming into a uh, three wide hallway and then a roll of five stairs going downwards. Bringing you down into a small chamber uh, where I'm actually going to hollow out here and build downwards and uh, channel out along here. Maybe dig in a little bit further, make it a little bit bigger, but uh, I th that's going to be our gladiatorial arena. People can stand up here, but the battles themselves are going to go on down. A level below so that's where we have that right now that's gonna be a, a fun little project uh, everything else that we're, we're still working on obviously like our, our iron and our steel production actually our steel production is coming along really really well we've got a lot of guys working on steel bars steel hematite blah 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 and uh, we've got somebody just pumping out steel breastplates to the point where I was able to go ahead and uh, equip the geared battle uh, the gear battles squad and just give them all all steel breastplates so they've all got a, uh, a steel breastplate of their own now some of them aren't that great but they do have their own steel breastplates all the same uh, some of them are still wearing iron chain and stuff for our elite guard just that's just not gonna happen not a good idea uh, especially once they're getting into these crazy fights where you have like you know 10 guys up against 30 or something even if it is goblins I want these guys equipped I want uh, a lot of the risks gone for them. I want them to be able to go in and just take these guys right down. So, let's see. We've got a couple problems going on with the walls. I'm not sure what's going on with the wall. I think it actually might be... I, that might actually have even been it. We've got things possibly blocking... Um, blocking construction, stopping things from, from getting placed. We have a lot of uh, construction jobs that keep seeming to get cancelled and suspended so I think I think it might have just been that willow bolt in the way and we'll have to see um, but yeah everything everything up top is looking really great so I'm just gonna keep working away on this uh, working away on this little on our gladiatorial arena and seeing how that goes all right you can actually see where things are now um, everything needs to be finished up polished up but it has actually come along really nice so, again, we have our entrance into the battle arena here. This is where all the dwarves will be coming in to look at the, the spectator or what have you. Coming down the stairs into the main arena here. Uh, we're just digging out little crenels here to put in some statues and some decorations. Here's the fight pit, though. Here's the actual fight pit. Now the dwarf who's been chosen to go and fight, or the dwarves that have been chosen to go fight, can come in here and down this uh, the stairwell and into the the actual pit down here which is two down um, this is where we're going to be putting enemy cages I've made it longer so that I can put cages you know back corner I can be a little bit more creative with where I put the cages so that we can have a little bit of say in the order that things will be coming out the formation possibly and helping to, uh, to potentially define some formation though releasing the goblins or releasing the animals they might not even come out of here I'm not sure we're gonna have to, uh, to test it out Another thing I was thinking might be fun, again, bleh, I don't know, um, actually setting up water to potentially flood the area if need be. 
um, potentially set up a a little bit of fun with water if we need you know maybe we have to drown some stuff definitely want to make a shut off valve before we we do that and plan it out more than ever um, because that's something that I know <laughs> is not my specialty but I think that would be fun like if we could actually just you know have a kill switch and just drown everything here even if we just let a little bit of water in maybe to push some stuff out of here and then kind of flood in here I don't know we'll see but uh, yeah so the dwarves come down here and then they come to the fighting pit and the the monsters goblins war tigers whatever the hell we want to have fi uh, fight in here we just release them right out of here and then that's that uh, we're just smoothing everything out. Actually, I'm going to smooth out the whole thing because I just like looking at it smoothed out a little bit better. A little bit easier on the eyes. Um, but I think that's come along really nice. That looks really cool and I'm really excited to try it out. Um, so we'll have to get this all cleared out. We'll have to get all the rocks, all this garbage pulled out of here. Throw in the doors, the finishing touches, all that good stuff. Throw in some, uh, and then we'll throw in some goblins, throw in whatever. We'll, we'll just test it out. Maybe have a uh, little gladiatorial battle here. This is really starting to look nice. Very happy with the way this has turned out. Uh, you can see again, here's our main hallway, the main section of our base. This is our main floor, all our bedrooms, all our, um, you know, our, our great hall, our, our hall of artifacts that kind of still under construction. But here's our new fighting arena. Here's our new gladi gladiator pit. And I just need to load in some uh, some different captives, like animals and, you know, some goblins or something probably. And then we'll be testing it out, hopefully in the very near future. So uh, we come in here, we've got our three iron doors. i got an iron pick sitting there too right now, but three iron doors. You come in through a, a fairly wide entrance. And then you've got a, a wide staircase down and back up again into the actual fighting pit, the arena. It's a very small stand-in arena. I don't think dwarves actually come in and watch these things, so I didn't see uh, the need to create a huge area for them to, for spectators. Um, anyways, there's three switches here, which are going to be for um, for releasing captives in, in the pits for fighting. I wanted three because I wanted to stage at a time. Sometimes I, I don't necessarily want everything to come out at once, though I could certainly have all the switches pulled at once, uh, but we might want to tier the attacks, right? So I'm going to have three sections um, for attacks. Anyways, we've got our uh, our fighters, our dwarven fighters, hallway down here, so when they're coming down into a fight, and I guess the people leading the captives down into the cages will be using this tunnel as well. So we've got three stairs down, three back up, then uh, down again, so it's two two layers down from the, uh, the uh, arena, the spectators section here. So we come down and we've got everything nicely smoothed out here. We've got some engravings on the wall and we've got a huge section of cages all lined up here. Some of the cages still not placed yet. Some of them are already housing wild boars and um, probably some other animals. Oh, there's a goblin. Um, so we might have to repurpose some of these cages and, and put, you know, empty them or, or empty other cages and load, load them in down here because I certainly want to get something going on with this. I want to test this out. Um, probably going to end up testing it with kind of, um, you know, not our best dwarves. I don't want to just have it a total slaughter fest. I want to bring somebody in that's going to struggle a little bit with some of these kills. I want to see somebody lose a limb, possibly. Um, yeah, but so here we go. We got, you know, our big hallway here. Let's take a look at some of the engravings. If anything interesting going on here. Oh, can I uh, even pull them up right now? No, I was looking at the green. The green cursor, which is where my mouse cursor was. Okay, so we've got detailed clear tourmaline. Engraved as well, crafted Dobar Gendlin rendition of the cloudy urns. Massively designed image of a dwarf. The symbol is of the creation of deer, a dwarven civilization. Uh, let's take a look at these two sections. Engraved on the wall is a superiorly designed image of Ryukon. Arrow scraped the spears of strife, the dwarf and dwarves by Dobar Gogkin. Uh, the dwarves are refusing Ryukin. The Spears of Strife, Ryukin era scraped. The Spears of Strife is making a submissive gesture. The artwork relates to the removal of the dwarf Ryukin Aro scraped at the Spears of Strife from the position of militia commander of the Portal of Touching in early autumn 130. It's funny because they've interpreted history um, as Ryukin being kind of uh, removed almost dishonorably by the sounds of it, but it was really just a... Uh, um, like a clerical error on my part of trying to set it up for him to go and get a solo kill. But it's pretty cool how the dwarves have interpreted that as a whole thing. 
Engraved is a well-crafted Dobar Godkin rendition of the Knowing Fortress, a masterfully designed image of two rope reeds. Got any other cool ones in here? Any big ones like that? Uh, that other one was really cool. I'd like to read some other, you know, chunks of how our dwarves have interpreted history, especially around the fortress. Um, possibly any on a battle, or doesn't seem like it. Tobol Pagescorch, the dwarf, uh, in Dwarves by Dober Godkin. Tobol Pagescorch is surrounded by the dwarves. The artwork relates to the election of the dwarf Tobol Pagescorch to the position of mayor in the portal of Tarachin in the early summer of 130. So, uh, nothing really to do with us. Hmm. But still pretty interesting. Uh, it was cool to see that, that Ryokon bit. I'm not sure Arrow Scrape, if that's like a nickname they've given them, or, or what's going on with that, but it's really, really cool to, uh, to see that flashing out and see the, the way the dwarves have interpreted a little bit of history in our fortress. Uh, so yeah, anyways, that's our arena. I think that's the fighting pits. Uh, obviously not done. They've got to be you know, totally, actually they are pretty much fleshed out. I've just got to move some, uh, move some creatures in here and kind of administrate the, uh, the cages. And then we've got the long, tedious task of waiting for dwarves to get around to, uh, actually linking these up, <laughs> linking up the levers so we can open and close them really quickly. Um, but that's going to be something that's going to, it's not probably going to be, it's not going to be in this episode only because I'm going to be waiting around for so many ages of you know, however long, waiting for dwarves to actually get around to doing that. Um, and it, it's not going to be a quick job by any means. We've made a absolute crap ton of steel, by the way. I wanted to show you that, guys, this. Oh, sorry. I started um, pumping out steel, uh, steel armor, steel breastplates for sale uh, because we need to work on our exports. Now, I've actually gotten equipped... Um, <coughs> oh, I'm really sorry about that. The gear battles all in steel breastplate. And we still have lots left over. I might give some of these out to our military. But look at all these steel breastplates we've created here. Uh, quite a few. And we've got some steel helms under work now. Wow, even a masterful one right here. Definitely very cool. Uh, I might switch that out on a dwarf some, at some point. Because that thing is very valuable. 4,000 in value. 4,320 basic value. Jeez, considering these other steel helms, like a basic one without uh, any, you know, extra work put into it, 360, quite low. Um, but then we look at our steel breastplates, you know, they're worth a little bit, a um, little bit more. But you know, for the amount of steel we're using on these, it might be better to go with the helmets, just for a, a pure sales point of view. These coins are worth almost nothing. Um, steel greaves, actually greaves are worth a little bit, they seem to be. Though I think greaves being like pant legs probably take up a considerable amount. Um, spears don't take up a lot, do they? I think spears are like one one steel bar or something. I'll have to look into that because they seem... Maybe weapons is the way to go for exports. These copper caps are garbage. Hmm. You know what, actually, I'm going to cancel that and I'm going to go with weapons for a little bit. And I'm just going to pump out some steel spears because they seem to be kind of a good way to go. Um, hopefully we've got a half decent weaponsmith that can come in and work some magic and get uh, get some nice quality things churning out so that we can uh, we can sell those the next dwarven caravan that comes in should be soon. I mean we're already on the fourth month of the year. Uh, we're halfway through the fourth month of the year, so hopefully we're seeing some dwarf dwarven caravan traders coming in soon that we can uh, just sell some of this stuff off in and hopefully heighten our ranks and, and our dwarven civilization and uh, become a little bit more important than we currently are because it would be nice to uh really nice to see ourselves grow a little bit more uh, what's going on why isn't this road section being built i wonder hmm maybe that tree I'm not sure we're gonna have to figure that all out because these these roads are, are just been going on for way too long uh, but we've got three out of four made so we've got that, got uh, three out of four ready. Just got that last final section here. It's still blinking away, still being an irritating thing, but uh, I'm sure we'll get that sorted out soon enough. Uh, again, fighting pit looks really great. I'm really happy with that. 
I'd also like to give a quick mention to Workplace Management. Thank you so much. You've given a lot of really helpful information uh, as far as the frame rate, which is something that I'm taking into consideration. I'm definitely working on. Um, but yeah, it's just it's been a lot of help, and I really appreciate the comments. And uh, actually, the feedback from all of you has just been wonderful, and it uh, encourages me to keep going. Anyways, guys, thank you so much again. Leave a like, uh, comment as always, and don't forget to subscribe.